Now let us discuss about the group multiplication table for C3V. The example for C3V point group is ammonia molecule. The symmetry operations of C3V point group are E C3 C3 square sigma V sigma V dash and sigma V double dash. Now let us look at the operations. The shape of ammonia molecule is trigonal pyramidal. Nitrogen is at the apex of the pyramid and the three hydrogen atoms form the three corners of the triangular base of the pyramid. The C3 axis is passing through the nitrogen atom which is present at the apex of the pyramid. The sigma V plane cuts across the pyramid and the plane contains one NH bond. So one NH bond will be contained in the plane, one NH bond will be to the left of the plane, one NH bond will be to the right of the plane. During reflection, the atoms that are present in the plane will not get shifted. The atom that is played present to the left will go to the right and the atom that is present in the right will go to the left. Now we are going to consider the production of ammonia molecule. Now let us uh, see how we get the production of the ammonia molecule. We saw that ammonia is trigonal pyramidal in shape as shown here. Keep this pyramid over a piece of paper. The three legs of the pyramid, namely the three hydrogen atoms, will be seated on the paper and mark these positions 1, 2 and 3. Since this is a trigonal pyramid, this will be the three corners of a triangle and write the production of nitrogen at the center of the triangle as a dot and connect these points together. We will get something like this. This here 1, 2 and 3 represent the three hydrogen atoms whereas the central point represents the nitrogen atom. This is this production of the ammonia molecule will be used by us in the remaining part of the discussion and not this trigonal pyramid. Now you see the blank group multiplication table for C3V. The column headers are E C3 C3 square sigma V sigma V dash and sigma V double dash. The row headers are E, C3, C3 square, sigma V, sigma V dash and sigma V double dash. For our convenience, we have divided this table into four quadrants marked by pink color or rose color and green color. Now, let us try to fill up this group multiplication table. First, the operations on the top are performed, followed by the operations on the side. First, do the operation on the E. E is the operation of doing nothing. E on the top followed by E on the side will be E. Top followed by C3 on the side will be C3. E on the top followed by C3 square on the side will be C3 square and so on. Similarly, if you perform the operation C3 on the top followed by E, it will be C3. C3 square on the top followed by E, it will be C3 square. Sigma V on the top followed by E, it will be Sigma V and so on. The atom at the top, 1 will move to the position of 2. The atom at the position 2 will move to the position 3. The atom 3 will move to the position 1 and so you will get something like this. 1 going to the position of 2 and 2 going to the position of 3 and 3 going to the position of 1. E is the operation of doing nothing and so you will get the same arrangement as this. Consider these two operations together they still represent C3 and that is what we saw. Now let us look at the operation of C3 followed by C3 is 120 plus 120 in 240 degrees and it will be C3 square. C3 in the top, C3 in the side, it will be C3 square. 
next is c3 on the top followed by c3 square on the side normally when we write first the operation on the right side is performed followed by the operation on the left side if we write like this c3 is performed first because it is present in the right side and c3 square is performed next because it is found in the left side c3 on the top followed by c3 square on the top will be c3 cube and c3 cube is rotation through 360 degrees and nothing but e so c3 followed by c3 square is e similarly c3 square followed by c3 will also be c3 cube and that will also be equal to e next is c3 square followed by c3 square c3 square followed by c3 square c3 square followed by c3 square will be c3 cube into c3 c3 cube into c3 that is c3 power 4 is really written as c3 cube into c3 c3 cube is e e into c3 which is nothing but c3 and so c3 square followed by c3 square is written as c3 now let us look at other places where we get e sigma v followed by sigma v will be e two reflections will lead to the original arrangement sigma v dash followed by sigma v dash will once again be e sigma v double dash followed by sigma v double dash will also be e so we have filled up all the e's and we also have filled up one quadrant which contains only e c3 and c3 square e c3 and c3 square next we will come to this quadrant and see this quadrant where you find the question, question mark this quadrant this is sigma v on the top c3 on the side sigma v is performed first followed by c3 when we do the sigma v sigma v is present along 1 and so 1 is present in sigma v whatever that is present in the plane will not get shifted so 1 will remain in the same position but 2 and 3 will be interchanged and so we will get something like this 3 going to the place of 2 and 2 going to the place of 3 this followed by c3 when you do c3 atoms are shifted through 120 degrees that is 1 will be shifted to the position of 3 3 will be shifted to the position of 2 2 will be shifted to the position of 1 and so we will get something like this 1 shifted to the position of 3 3 shifted to the position of 2 and 2 shifted to the position of 1 now if you look at this first arrangement and this final arrangement and find out which of these atoms has not changed its position we find 3 is remaining in the same position in both these structures final arrangement and the initial arrangement that means 3 is present in the plane of reflection and the plane of reflection here is sigma v double dash but 1 and 2 are shifted 1 coming to the place of 2 and 2 coming to the place of 1 that is what we see here and so this is nothing but sigma v double dash so sigma v c3 is written as sigma v double dash now let us go to the next arrangement sigma v dash in the top followed by c3 on the side sigma v dash 2 is present in sigma v dash and so it will not shift 1 and 3 will be interchange and so we find that 1 and 3 have interchange and 2 has not shifted now if we do c3 120 degree moment 3 will go to the position of 2 2 will go to the position of 1 1 will go to the position of 3 you will get something like this 3 has gone to the position of 2 2 has gone to the position of 1 1 has gone to the position of 3 and you compare the initial arrangement and the final arrangement and find out what is unshifted you find that 1 is unshifted 
1 is present in which plane? 1 is present in sigma v. 2 and 3 are shifted interchange. 2 and 3 are interchange. But 1 is not shifted. And so this corresponds to reflection of sigma v. And so sigma v dash c3 is nothing but sigma v. Now let us come to the next location which is sigma v followed by c3 square. Now look at this quadrant. This quadrant will contain only three elements sigma v, sigma v dash and sigma v double dash. Already in this column sigma v and sigma v double dash are present and so the third element will be sigma v dash. In this column, sigma v dash is present, sigma v is present and they cannot get repeated and so the third element will be sigma v double dash. In this row, you will find sigma v double dash, sigma v. There will not be any re repetition and so this will be sigma v dash. Here, you find this row, sigma v dash, sigma v double dash and so this should be sigma v. So this quadrant is now filled up. You have two more quadrants remaining to be filled up. Now you come to this quadrant. First do the c3 on the top followed by sigma v on the side. c3 is shifting to 120 degrees. 1 will come here, 2 will come here, 3 will come here and you will get something like this. 1 has come here, 2 has come here, 3 has come here. And if you know if you do the sigma v, 3 is present in sigma v and it will not be shifted but 1 and 2 will be interchange. This is what you get. 1 and 2 are interchange here. Now you look at the first arrangement and the last arrangement and see what is unshifted you find that 2 is unshifted. 2 is present in sigma v dash but 1 and 3 are interchange that is what you find here. 2 is unshifted and so it is sigma v dash and so here c3 sigma v is equal to sigma v dash. Next is sigma v star c3 square. Now you can apply the same rule we applied earlier. Sigma v, sigma v dash is already present and so next should be sigma v double dash. But it can be written on found root also. First you do the c3 square. c3 square is c3 followed by c3. 120 degree followed by 120 degree is 240 degrees. That means shifting to two, two positions. One will come to the position of 3. 3 will come to the position of 2. 2 will come to the position of 1. That is what you find here. Next is sigma v. Sigma v 2 is present in sigma v and it will be unshifted. The remaining two atoms will be shifted and so 2 will remain unshifted and 1 and 3 will get shifted. Now if you look at the initial and the final arrangement find out which is not shifted. You find that sigma v double dash is 3. Sigma v double dash is 3. This is unshifted and so this operation is sigma v double dash. So here you will write the result as sigma v double dash. Next is sigma v c3 followed by sigma v dash. C3 is rotation through 120 degrees. 1 will come to 2, 2 will come to 3, 3 will come to 1. You will get something like this. 1 coming here, 2 coming here, 3 coming here. This is sigma v dash. 1 is present in sigma v dash. Since it is present in the plane, it will not get shifted. And the remaining two atoms will get shifted. 2 has come to the position of 3. 3 has come to the position of 2. Now, if you look at the initial and final arrangements. Initial and final arrangement. See what is unshifted. We find that 3 is unshifted. 3 is present in sigma v double dash and so this is sigma v double dash. So the result of c3 and sigma v dash will be sigma v double dash. Next is sigma v double dash c3 followed by sigma v double dash. 
right followed by left this will be equal to sigma v this we comes by observation already in the column you find sigma v dash sigma v double dash should not be any there should not be any repetition and so this will be sigma v now applying the same yardstick you find sigma v dash c3 square sigma v dash c3 square sigma v dash here you find sigma v dash sigma v double dash already so this should be sigma v coming to the next point c3 square followed by sigma v double dash here sigma v double dash is already present sigma v is already present there should not be any repetition and so it should be sigma v dash this is the way the third quadrant is completed now we will get on to the fourth quadrant we find the question mark here sigma v on the top sigma v dash on the side sigma v on the top followed by sigma v dash on the side sigma v1 is atom 1 is present in sigma v during sigma v1 will not be shifted 2 and 3 will interchange 2 and 3 have interchange next is sigma v dash sigma v dash 3 is present in sigma v dash 3 will not be shifted the other 2 will get interchange and so 3 is not shifted the other 2 have interchange now if you look at the initial arrangement and final arrangement all the atoms are shifted one is shifted to two places here two is shifted to the place of one two is shifted to the place of one and three is shifted to the place of two it is through two positions 120 plus 120 240 degrees and so this will be c3 square this will be c3 so this will be sigma v followed by sigma v dash will be c3 square now the remaining things can be filled up by mere observation this is e this is 3 c3 square and this quadrant should be filled cannot be filled by sigma v it can be filled only by e c3 and c3 square e and c3 square are already present and so this should be c3 sigma v sigma v double dash is equal to c3 next is sigma v dash followed by sigma v double dash sigma v dash followed by sigma v double dash c3 and e are already present and so this will be c3 square next is sigma v double dash followed by sigma v dash c3 square and e are already present and so this should be c3 next is sigma v dash followed by sigma v sigma v dash on the right followed by sigma v on the left already in this column c3 square and e are present and so this will be c3 since there cannot be any repetition here next if we come to sigma v double dash on the top followed by sigma v on the side right followed by left already e c3 is present and so this will be c3 square let result what we find is in this quadrant you find only e c3 c3 square the diagonally opposite quadrant also you find only e c3 c3 square in this top right quadrant you find sigma v sigma v dash sigma v double dash the diagonally opposite bottom left quadrant also you find sigma v sigma v dash sigma v double dash this is the group multiplication table for c3v thank you